It's Warcraft Day. Greetings, everybody. This is Stormy with the capital Z coming back at you with another replay request. This is, of course, from the replay request series running on, on my channel where anybody and everybody is welcome to send me replays to cast. To know more about how you can do so, you can join the Discord server. A link to that is on the Twitch panel and in the description below. And yeah, Pogzy. Pogzy, baby! Pogzy! By the way, Hysteric, welcome to the channel. Stay a while and listen. Uh, this is uh, something that I do on a regular basis. This is replay request. Anybody and everybody is welcome to send me replays for the replay request series. If you have some good replays of your own, your friend or any other pro, anybody basically. You want me to cast that, send it across to me on Discord and I will be casting it. So we got Mofat spawning on the top right. He is of course the replay requester for this game. Ah, I messed up. This is not Mofat. This is Keeper. This is Mofad's opponent, and he's spawning on the top right as the alone dead. We got Mofad on the bottom left. This is the replay requester, spawning in as the green undead. The name of the map is Autumn Leaves, and this is a relatively new map, which is something I like. And I must say that I have I haven't played on this map yet, but. It is a map which you can definitely, definitely enjoy your time on. It's not on the main battle net, it's on W3 Champions only. So if you play on the main battle net, which I don't really know why you do, I mean, if you're a guy like me, I guess you could do that. But yeah, Ducky says, best caster I can confirm. Ah, I feel flattered. Hysteric says, sounds good, mate. Yes, absolutely, that sounds good. We got Death Knight coming in by Mofad. And his opponent, no hero yet. Is it gonna be a tavern build? I believe it's gonna be a tavern build. Should be interesting. Gonna kill that poor deer. Get the fresh corpse down for the rod of necromancy. And yes, it's definitely gonna be a tavern build, it appears. As the ghoul heads near the tavern, gonna stay there for until the cooldown comes up. And ooh, Fire Lord. I don't think I've seen Undead using Fire Lord before. Is this gonna be Asghouls, um, Double Lava Spawn, Skeleton Warriors? Hmm, interesting. That should be good. Mofat going in for pretty, pretty standard Undead gameplay. I don't think this is even the Mofat build. He came in with Mofat Fiends, but this doesn't seem to be it. Jockey says, on this channel, you will mostly see Mofat Day. <laughs> LOL. And yes. Replay request is usually Mofad Day because Mofad is the top contributor of replays to me. You want to know how you can change Mofad Day? Send me your replays! You can send me your replays and you can change it from Mofad Day to your own day. That's how you do it, son. So, Mofad is gonna kill this creep camp off, and his opponent seems to be coming in with a lot of ghouls. Lava spawn as well. No skeleton warriors, though. He didn't use the, uh, he used the corpse for uh, spawning skeleton warrior with an order on record, but here he comes. Gonna go after the death knight immediately, then pushing in towards the field. Here comes the army of ghouls. <laughs> ghouls coming in. Ghouls cannot be death coiled. A big disadvantage for Mofad right now. He will not be able to hit the opponent ghouls using the death coil and this is blight so both of the players will be regenerating on this blight. And uh oh, Mofa is in trouble, death knight being surrounded, has a small opening, now he doesn't, he, no opening, gonna use the TP. Uh, he should be able to manage to kill a couple of uh, units before uh, the TP uh, gets him down there, there we go, TP is in, uh, perhaps with a good spot there. Uh, a different spot would have been uh, catastrophic. I was on multiplying, La multiplier level, uh, first multiplier going down, there we go. Death Knight is weak, level 2 Death Knight, Unholy Aura is the need of the hour, but Death Knight is going down, ranged attack! Death coils one of the Lava Swans and then gets taken out. Lava Swan multiplier number 2! Lava Swans are gonna kick in all the ghouls for, uh, what's this, what's this guy named? Keeper. Keepers are already taken out, but he managed to kill the Death Knight, level 2. And if Mofad, uh, Death Knight did not le level up before dying, that would have been beneficial for Mofad because that would have cost him less gold and he would have gotten him back a bit earlier. 
Gonna get the kill on that fiend there. Incinerate. Really? He's using incinerate as well there. And that's a pretty good spell, by the way, which a lot of people don't use, including myself, because hashtag I'm I hashtag I just I just suck at things. Uh, Jockey say hashtag cause my replays are memes and Stormy won't cast them because I suck. And I do enjoy casting your games as well. I mean, your two v twos are fun. Jockey says hashtag noob Stormy. I'm not the noob. You're noob. Anyways. Got Moffat coming back with his death knight and a little bit of a disadvantage for him is that he lost his hero in the early get go. Uh, but since Keeper couldn't really push in and actually seal the deal over there, actually Keeper lost more number of ghouls there. So that gave a lot of experience to Moffat. If you look at the experience bar on both of the heroes, it's 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 literally the same thing there. It's uh, really neck and neck. So you got that situation there. Historic. 92 says I played uh, one good orc mirror yesterday standard though Smiling face emoji and uh, Jockey says I suck at orc mirrors Hmm the only perhaps uh, Advantage that keeper got out of this particular fight would be that he managed to get uh, Mofad uses TP. So Mofat doesn't have a TP right now and uh, the text delayed. Okay, advantage too. He actually stayed Please. in there for long enough to actually delay the tech on the side of Mofat because Mofat's tech is super delayed right now. Uh, Keeper is already at tier 2, Slaughterhouse Temple of the Dam coming down. Uh, second hero in the form of the Crypt Lord coming down. Yikes, that's a, that'll be a bit dangerous there. Oh hey there, it's the guy, it's the legend himself. It is Mofad. Welcome to the stream, Mofad. Go, go, Mofad. Hells yeah. Go, go, Mofad. Go, go, Mofad. That ought to be a that ought to be a thing there. You know, each time you cast a game with Mofad, you gotta put it down there. Go, go, Mofad. Jockey says uh, at the hysteric, I stopped doing W3 uh, 3C before I get disappointed in myself. <laughs> you'll get there, Jockey. I promise. One day you'll get there. As uh, both of the both of the players are now getting their stuff down, uh, or rather getting some creep camp down, we are level three on the death net for Mofad, and uh, hmm, keeper is rather staggering. Keeper is going for a pretty interesting build here. This is a necro wagon, and uh, because skeleton summons weren't good enough. You want to have beetles and you want to have lava swans as well because skeleton summons with necro wagon just aren't good enough you know just not good enough at all all right so hysteric slays played for fun yep we played for fun as well i cast it for fun i love warcraft it's warcraft day happy warcraft day y'all Anyways, Mofat gonna creep this camp out and get his death knight to level 4. His tech is complete tier 3 coming in and he's gonna have to like push in for the tier 3 as soon as possible because his tier, tier 2 was delayed. But since he is at least at tier 2 now, he can get things rolling. You have a big difference over here between his first hero and the second hero though. You can see uh, the difference that uh, now the death knight is level 4 and lich isn't even out yet if uh, lich would be the second hero of choice for wolfhead which would likely be the thing but we don't have a seed yet so we don't know engagement coming in engagement lot of lot of summons necro wagon i don't think mofat saw the necromancers though he got a pretty good item there book of dead but the book of dead don't matter bro baby they don't matter against skeleton uh, necro wagon that's just not gonna matter but there that is just going to end up bad. I like this choke point. We can have some really close uh, combat there. Skeleton warriors coming in. Mofa trying to chip down those ghouls, and this is a bit of a miss micromanagement on the side of uh, Keeper. Keeper should just send everything in. He's gonna go all in. He's gonna not try to block his own units for uh, the way he just did. And Mofat just gonna waste a lot of time of Keeper right now. Keeper needs to head into Mofat's base, destroy everything. He's got the necro wagon. He's got everything ready. Wasting time is not an option and yeah, you could perhaps leave a few skeleton warriors behind. And a lot of chat there, probably missed a couple of there. 
Uh, Mofad from wanna play CG, Macau, you, Serbia, my boy, Serbia, as well. Balkan Warriors, hells yeah, Balkan Warriors for the win. Uh, Book of GG coming in by Mofad. Gonna kill that lone fiend there. The lone fiend of the army of uh, Keeper, but Keeper gonna try and come back. Keeper uh, managed to destroy the, what are the building there? I thought that was Sha, what was that, the ziggurat? That was probably a ziggurat. I don't know, yeah, that's bigger actually. Are all the necromancers dead? No, they're going in from the other side. A lot of miss micro miss micro here by Keeper. Like he technically has the game in the bag, but he is messing up so much. He's messing up big time right here. And yeah, like you don't want to do this. You don't want to leave behind your fire fire lava spawn there. And yeah, Mofat is just beating around the bush right now. He's literally beating around the bush and uh, delaying the inevitable as much as possible which will benefit him I mean this necro wagon push you know I mean this is really dangerous although there are a lot of units lost on the side of team yellow of leveling uh, no keeper leveling up on his crypt lord they're gonna get some impale are we gonna have impale impale lit out from Mofad by the way that happened some time ago you're gonna beat around the bush a bit more I mean this is super miss micro by keeper he should technically have this game in the bag right now, but he doesn't. He's losing. He's losing necromancers. I see a couple of units coming in, but I don't really want to go and check what are they because we have a huge fight going down. Mofad might think to save his unit, but oh, couldn't save that one. That fiend just got incinerated. The dead knight. Dead knight's under soul burn. By the way, soul burn. No, wait a second. I don't think that was soul burn. No, that wasn't. Soul burn is also very underrated. Okay, now Keeper is overextending. He should have overextended earlier. With the number of units he had earlier, he should have overextended. But now, overextended now with the number of units he has, that's gonna happen. The Lich for Mofad though, got blown up, incinerated. Fiend gets incinerated. Mofad with a level 5 Death Knight, but able to do nothing with no mana there. Lava Spawn's gonna multiply again if this keeps up. More skeleton warriors coming in. Level 4 on that Fire Lord. Does have the mantle of intelligence, extra mana, and extra regen there. Coming into play, I must say. Lava Swans should be attacking the Optimus statue. That's the only thing that will not. Well, there we go. It's, it'll survive now. Time to devour. Time to devour if they can. That is. Multiplication coming in. There we go. More Lava Swans. And now he's retreating, or rather just disengaging for a bit before going in. Mofad says beating a uh, yeah I'm more well turned off and that meat wagon went down. Mofad says beating around the bush looking for bush meat. A player's forces are under a lot of bush meat around that bush. A lot of uh, bush meat being reanimated into skeleton warriors and all other uh, good undead stuff. Yeah, he's gonna fight a lava spawn there and win. Keeper had a pretty good game, like he had a strong game, but Miss Micromanagement just got the best of him here. And uh, Wolfhard Micro was definitely on the mark. He did a good job of uh, saving his units, he did a good job of beating around the bush technically. Delaying that uh, big Necro Wagon push. In a normal scenario, the suit actually had been GD a long time ago, but that doesn't seem to be the case in this one. Also, Mofad shouldn't be really creeping that. That's a level 5 death knight, and that's not going to gain any experience. But this one is, and he needs to be creeping with the lich there. Probably gonna get it to level 2 before he goes in for any kind of engagement. Probably needs a unit turn as well. And oh, we got a pack of horse over here in this map. And there's a campaign unit. It has 100 HP by the way. I mean, I'm pretty sure you can still use it as a critter. It doesn't have wander. It, will, it won't be moving away from this location here. But this is a unit. This is not a doodad or anything like that or a building. This is a unit. Which means this can be cast. This can be cast with things such as... Bloodlust, Inner Fire, um, Static Shield, Lightning Shield. You can actually use this to your advantage in some way. 
You can even possess it. Yes, you can possess a packed horse. Don't really know why you want to do so, but you can do it if you want to. Also, Moffat wasting a lot of experience with the Death Knight there because Death Knight's gonna hog the experience but not gain any as long as he is near any kind of creeping. Big fight going down. Shop goes down for Moffat. This time, Keeper looks to seal the deal. Moffat gonna devour a couple of those skeletons using the devour from the destroyer. Should get this option statue in the air right away. Before it can start devouring. Oh no no no! Statue gonna go down! Right by an inch, and that damn that flea feed just blew up. By the way, uh, new information that I just find out. Oh, hey there, history, you're going. See you later, man. It was good to have you on the stream. Do come back some other time. Okay, so another thing I found out is that the incinerated units don't spawn corpses. I believe basically the corpse explodes or something like that. Moffat is going to have to deal with a lot of skeleton warriors. He's trying to be massively trying to repair his uh, Black Citadel, which is currently being attacked with a lot of units. Meat Dragon is targeting the uh, Black Citadel there. Big Devour! A lot of Devour there, man. That's a lot of Devour. They explode, so go figure. Say <laughs> Sri Nubi XD. Hey there, Nubi XD. Welcome to the stream. And Jockey says, so no corpse. Go figure. Well. The corpses basically explode and pile just blow up everywhere. Oh my, the fire lord just went down. And yeah, the entire yellow army seems to be annihilated. Mofad with a level 6 death knight. He got overfed. He got super overfed. And I believe uh, he like devoured all of those skeleton warriors. And that kind of gave him a lot of experience there. And he devoured them using the destroyers. Keeper needs to back out with whatever he has left unless until he plans to basically let everything feed more fad, more experience. level 4 lich and this is definitely going into the hands of mofad now gonna have a heal on that lich and rip lord bites the dust a playing dota yes mofad is playing dota Oh, look look who's back and I believe he got you uh, he used the tavern to get this back which is really not the best idea not the best idea at all he wants to incinerate that lich it appears Ducky says my my how the tables turn and there we go, he would just leave the game immediately after his fire lord gets incinerated. I must say that was a good game though. I enjoyed that, tables had turned, although I mean it was mainly because of the poor mi uh, micro play there by Keeper. Otherwise that game was surely his. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for watching and listening. If you have enjoyed what you have seen, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe for more. I shall be seeing you on the next episode of Warcraft Day. Units killed 131, you say, Mofad. Yikes, that's a lot.